So it took me almost 200 applications and two years of my college life to finally get one single internship. And I learned a few important things along the way that I'm gonna share with you in this video. So first I'm gonna start with my story and then I'm gonna tell you some tips that could help you out with finding your first internship. But my story starts in my junior year. I had applied to quite a few positions, not as many as this year, but I did also apply to some research positions at my school. And that's ultimately what I ended up doing last summer. So I had a research position that dealt with data analytics and data science, and that was a great experience. However, this year I wanted to look for a more traditional internship with a company rather than the institution and doing research because I figured it would look better on a resume. So I started applying to internships, a lot of them. At first I was like, okay, I'm applying really early. It was probably uh, middle of the first semester, so maybe like October or November. I started to applying to jobs like crazy. I'm like, okay, I'll just wait a few months and I'm sure they'll get back to me once it gets into springtime. So I was applying to possibly like 10 to 20 internships per week at that time. And I wasn't expecting callbacks instantly, but I was expecting some responses, you know, later on in the spring. And finally the spring came around and I had a few callbacks for my over 200 applications that I sent out. Um, but I was a little bit discouraged with how many callbacks I actually got. And the interviews I did have, I thought they went really well, but apparently they didn't because I never ended up getting a job offer from them. A few weeks went by and then I got a rejection letter. My advice for you here is if you're like me and you're putting out a ton of applications, um, don't get discouraged because this is a very normal thing to happen that you're not gonna get a lot of offers for your first applications you send out. There could be some holes in your resume. There could be some things on your resume that they just don't like, or there's just so many people applying to these positions that you're just unlucky and you're not getting calls back. But if you're in a similar boat to me and you're approaching the end of your college career, and you really need that internship. Or maybe you're younger and you're looking for your first internship. Here are the few of the tips that I picked up along the way that I would definitely do differently if I were to do this all over again. All right, the first one, and this is a real kicker because I did not do this at all when I was younger. Um, and that's going to the networking events that are set up at your school. So every single semester, I got flyers, I got emails, all about these job fairs and how important they were and how you should do them and when they are and go to them. And they had uh, major specific ones and everything. But I was like, eh, I don't need to do that. I'll find a job when I graduate or I'll find a job when I'm closer to graduation. Don't do that. Go to them because you'll find out very quickly that when you're applying to 200 plus positions and you're not getting any calls back, how nice it is to actually walk up to a recruiter and have them answer you, at least talk to you. Because in a lot of these applications I sent out, I just got no response. At least if you go to one of these, you can talk to a recruiter and you are guaranteed 100% to get a response. And who knows, you might even get an interview and nail a position. All right, now the second tip is actually more geared toward when you actually get the interview. I, had, I think the problem was with the first few interviews that I had was that I really wasn't making a connection with the people. Sure, I was able to talk about my experience, I was able to talk about my resume, but when it came to the questions more geared towards me, I couldn't make the connection with the interviewees or interviewers. I was the interviewee. And what I found for a lot of these internship interviews was that a lot of the questions had nothing to do with technical stuff. Sure, there was a few questions about, uh, do you know this? What'd you learn in school? Blah, blah, blah. Did you use this program? But the vast majority are, what would you do in this situation type questions. So my advice here, make a connection with the interviewer because it'll help you out tremendously, I think, in getting an offer from a company. Before I get into the next tip though, if you are enjoying this video, leave a like. Now, this is another great one. Maybe you're not looking necessarily for an internship, you're just looking for something that's gonna give you great experience. Get a referral from one of your professors or one of your friends. So to do this, make friends with your professors and friends and that are in your major, because who knows, down the line, one of, that, one of your professors, one of your friends could work in a position that you really want to be in. Not only can you talk to them and ask them questions about how they got there, but you could also say, hey, remember when we took that exam and I helped you out so much? Um, what do you say, uh, tell your manager about me and maybe give them my application? Um, yeah, maybe not that, but you get the point. You can talk to them and understand how they got into the position and who knows, maybe they can give you a referral and you know you can get an interview much easier that way than just sending an electronic application online. All right, now finally, the last tip that I have for you, possibly one of the most important, you need a better resume. Your resume probably sucks, 
The video that actually helped me improve my resume, I'm gonna link it above, it's from Tina Huang. But watch her video on this, I'll link it up above and in the description as well. But it's a data science oriented resume um, and that's actually the video that helped me make mine and where I ended up actually getting calls back. But seriously, if you have the skills, if you have the experience, and you can put it on your resume in an effective way, you are guaranteed to get more callbacks than if you make a crappy resume. But if you wanna see how I got my research position last summer, go ahead and watch this video next because I go over every single thing that I did in the interview process and how I got my application out in order to get that research position, which was honestly one of the best experiences that I've had in data analytics.